Here we're looking at the cosine rule to calculate an angle. This is part of trigonometry in the National 5 course. Now what we've got here is we've got, um, we've got a formula from the formula list and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using that to calculate the angle that I see that's marked with x. Okay. So first thing that I'm going to do here is that I'm going to label up the triangle just like I would do for the sine rule and the, the cosine rule for sides. So I'll go with uh, A being here, because if I've got to calculate the cosine A, then that sets the, the triangle up right for me to work with here. I'll make that B on the top, C over here, and then label up with the, the lowercase letters, and C there. So that's me got all my values that I would need to use. Right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to substitute into the formula from the formula list. So remember, if it's cosine A, that's going to be the angle formula and uh, try and make sure you don't use the side formula for it, you know, for, for that. Right, so let's go and substitute our values in. So B is going to be 7 squared, plus C is going to be 3.8 squared, minus, and that's going to be 4 squared that's there. That's all going to be over 2 times B, which is 7, times the 3.8. Okay, so that's me got all my numbers in, and all I need to do is use my calculator to work that through. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do it in uh, two ways. I'm just going to show you calculating the top and the bottom separately, and we'll go for that first, okay? So first thing I'm going to go for is 7 squared plus 3.8 squared minus 4 squared. So that's going to be equal to... And I've got, on the numerator, I've got 47.44. That'll all be divided by. And what we'll do is we'll go for 2 times 7 times 3.8. What that gives me on the denominator is 53.2. And what we'll do is we'll just divide these numbers out here, okay? And I've already got 53.2 in my calculator. So if I go for 47.44 divided by that answer that I had in, what that'll do is that should give me 0 0.8917 and some more characters beyond that. So that, that gives me an answer for cosine of A. So remember what I'm going to try and work out here, I'm going to work out what A is. So the angle A is going to be equal to the inverse cosine, so that's a shift button, of this number here. And that's the number I've still got in my calculator. So all I need to do is go shift cosine. From there, I'm going to pull in that answer, close the bracket, and what I've got here is 26.9086 okay, degrees. So what I'm doing is I'm working out the value for x. So therefore, x is equal to, and let's do it to one decimal place. Okay, So it's going to be 26.9 degrees. To one decimal place. Okay, so moving on to the uh, the second the second question that we have here. So just the same type of thing that I'm going to do, and the way I'm going to do that is again I'm going to just label up the triangle. So if I've got uh, the choice to do it, I'll label this as A. I'll label this as B here down the bottom, and I'll label this one as C. Lowercase letters just across from the capitals. From there, I've got my formula that I'm going to use. Okay. Right, so just substituting into the formula. So here we go. So on the top, I've got 45. So that's 45 squared for B plus for C, it's 40 squared minus A, which is 30 squared, all over. Right, and that's going to be two times the value for B, which is 45 and the value for C, which is 40. Okay. Right, so, so the other way I can show you in the, the calculator for putting this in, right, is that if I bring up the, uh, the fraction button, okay, and on the top I'm just going to put in 45 squared, and we've got plus 40 squared, and subtract from that 30 squared. Okay. I'll move my cursor button and just move it down to the bottom, and what I'll do is I'll put 2 times 45 times 40. So there I've got everything 
in the calculator the way it's um, shown in my working here. If I press equals, what I should get is that value there. So I can write that down, so that would be 0.7569 and plenty of characters there, and that's for, for cosine, the cosine of A. So then I can say that A is going to be equal to the inverse cosine, so the shift button to be used. I've got the number already in my calculator still, so what I'll do is I'll just go for the shift cosine and I'll put, pull that answer in. That equals, so it's going to be 40.8044 and if I round that, that's going to take me to 40.8. So it's the angle X that we're looking at. So therefore, X is equal to 40.8, that's degrees because it's angle, and that's 2, 1 decimal place. Okay, so, so what we've done, what we've covered so far is we've covered the sign rule and uh, the sine rule that would be for sides and for angles. We've covered the cosine rule for sides and angles. So what's, what's left is really to look at some extension questions and they'll follow on a bit later on. So good luck with trigonometry in the National 5 course.